So, in case you don't know how I handled that situation, um, it wasn't a funny one. And as evidence in that video that I made, you will see that video up here. I will put a link to it where I explained everything that happened to that order. So I don't want to go back to it so that this video will not be too long. Check up here, you will see a link to the video, to the previous video where I explained that situation. So when we got back to the house with the 2000 spring rolls and 2000 samosa, we were disturbed. We didn't know what to do. We were contemplating sending it the next day. And you know, the event they want to use the 2000 spring rolls, 2000 samosa for is next day and the order has been um the delivery has been had a problem so we could no longer continue with the delivery so we're thinking should we send it to them should we just send it by all means and if we decide that we want to send it by all means we are going to encounter one or two things it is either we lose the old 2000 spring rolls and 2000 samosa completely that means the the client will be disappointed we will also um have a bad reputation for us so how do we mitigate these losses so i did this i did not take the temptation to send the 2000 spring rolls and 2000 samosa by all means i did not take that temptation because if i say okay let me send it by all means that day it will still get to adequate the but it will get there maybe around 1 a.m 12 a.m so who is going to receive it at the park so whatever we're trying to avoid in the first instance is still going to happen so why don't we just keep it with us then see what happens from there but the worst is about to happen we did not have the freezer that could take the 2000 spring rolls and 2000 samosa at once we had we have we have a freezer in fact two freezers that could take the 2000 spring rolls and 2000 samosa but we also have our own orders pending orders before we deliver that 2000 you know that if we added 2000 spring rolls 2000 samosa to the ones that are already in our freezer that means we will be having about 3000 spring rolls 2000 samosa at hand so where are we going to keep all of this? We decided to keep some in the freezer in the shop, some in the free, two freezers in the house. We scattered it all around so that we could um, accommodate them. Selling it is now the problem because it definitely cannot go that distance. So, and you know, during movement and everything, some of your packs, some of our packs got broken. Some were still fine majority were still fine but some were already broken so we had to change packs change everything some were already compressed because from pressure you know when you stack a lot of things together and pressure will or will fall on it then um it's a different thing when you stack them and they go straight to where it is going but when you have to offload reload offload reload keke bike all those things it adds to how uh, how possible it is for your plastic to get broken or damaged so we have to bear all this so long and short of the story we have to keep um some we have to keep the whole 2000 spring rolls and samosa but with the fact that we already know that out of the 2000 spring rolls and samosa we are definitely not going to be able to sell everything anymore we will only be able to sell maybe one one thousand the remaining one one thousand will just a markdown for okay spoilage in case anything happens that one is waste then the remaining one thousand is the one we'll be able to sell so whatever we sell we'll remove our own costs of uh, running around doing everything and so we remove the cost and return the rest to the clients so that is how we sorted that situation and i do not pray that you are in that situation then but i saw all the suggestions everyone has made beautiful suggestions of 
what we should do next time and everything i appreciate them but it is not something that you can envisage and you really cannot tell what will happen even if you say somebody should go along with the spring rolls and samosa on the way anything can happen so let's just pray that we don't get such mishap in our business so please kindly subscribe to this channel i still have a whole lot of beautiful things festive periods are here and i'll be giving you tips on what to do to improve your business improve your small job business most importantly thank you so much for your comments please give me a thumbs up please give me a thumbs up like this video so that other people can also see what we are doing on this channel love you